Hello and welcome to the Noodle Tools and Footnotes tutorial. The goal of this tutorial is to outline how to create footnotes in Noodle Tools. This tutorial will focus on the Turabian or Chicago citation style. Found on the library homepage under Research and Citation Guides, there is a collection of print Noodle Tools guides. This tutorial will outline information found in the Creating Footnotes guide. The first half of this guide will cover creating footnotes in Noodle Tools. The second half will cover formatting footnotes in Microsoft Word. To skip ahead, click below. We'll begin by logging into our Noodle Tools account. If you have not created an account, the directions for creating a Noodle Tools account are found in the Registration and Creating Citations guide. Noodle Tools username and password are found on the Student Portal in the Catherine Brush Library Resources folder Noodle Tools Directions, or ask a librarian for the username and password. After logging into our Noodle Tools account, we'll want to click on the project that we're working on. From here, click on Sources to view your citation list. Each citation on the right-hand side has a footnote format link in the drop-down menu. Clicking on Footnote Format, a new window will open with two examples of your source, full footnote and shortened footnote. The first time a source is cited, you must use a full footnote. You can use a shortened footnote after the original source is completely cited earlier in the paper. Enter the page numbers that you want to cite. The page numbers will be entered into the footnote. Once you've entered page numbers, you can copy and paste the correct footnote into your paper. Now that we've learned how to format footnotes in Noodle Tools, we'll take a look at how to insert footnotes in Microsoft Word. Depending on which version of Microsoft Word you are using, the steps to insert a footnote may differ. The Footnotes in Microsoft Word guide outlines two examples from Mac 2016 Word and PC 2016 Word. This guide can be found on the library homepage under Research and Citations Guides within the collection of print Noodle Tools guides. Today, I will outline inserting footnotes from a PC. Navigating to this paragraph from our paper, we found a few references that we would like to cite. I will go ahead and insert a footnote after this first sentence, which is a direct quote. On a PC, Insert Footnote can be found in the References tab. From here, click on AB1 Insert Footnote. The footnote is inserted after all punctuation. Once you've inserted a footnote, the first line is tabbed in. All following lines of the footnote are not tabbed in. This is the reverse format from the bibliography. Additionally, there is no space between the footnote number and the footnote. As this is the first time we are citing this source, we must use a full footnote. Navigating back to Noodle Tools, we can get this footnote. This quotation was from the book chapter by Benkin. Clicking on Format Footnote, we can enter the page numbers and then copy the full footnote. From there, paste the footnote into the Word document. Footnote font size is 10 point with the text of the paper 12 point. Make sure the fonts are the same for the text of this paper and the footnotes. To do this, highlight the footnote and double check. After the second sentence, we'll want to insert a second footnote. This is a different source and the first time I've used this source, so I will again need the full footnote. As before, be sure to tab in your footnote, and then return to Noodle Tools to copy the citation. This citation is from the Browning article. Clicking on Format Footnote, We'll again enter the page numbers and copy our full citation. 
We can then paste it into Microsoft Word. For our third sentence, we will insert a third footnote. This is also from Browning, the source we just used. Here, I can use IBID, which means in the same place. You can use IBID when a source is referenced and the following footnote is the same source. IBID can take the place of the note. However, you must include the page numbers. Also, an IBID footnote can never be the first footnote on a page. After the fourth sentence, we'll insert our fourth footnote. This is again from the Benkin book. As we have already cited the Benkin text, you can use a shortened footnote after the original source is completely cited earlier in the paper. An abbreviated footnote includes the author's last name, shortened title, and page numbers. Inserting our footnote, we'll again want to tab in, and then return to Noodle Tools to copy the citation. Clicking on Footnote Format, we'll enter the page numbers, and then copy and paste the shortened citation. Using a shortened citation, we can eliminate much of the title using, in this instance, we need. This concludes the Noodle Tools and Footnotes tutorial. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to ask a librarian.